Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand AWK commands. So AWK commands are mainly used for searching data in a file and print data on the console. We can also use it for printing specific columns. So specific columns means if I have a file with multiple columns and multiple rows and I want to print only specific columns, so we can do it by using AWK commands. We can also format output data which we are printing on the console. Also it is used for processing bulk data for searching, conditional execution, we can update data, we can filter data. So that kind of operations can be performed by using AWK commands. Before starting on the AWK, I'll, I'll show you a file with the multiple rows and columns. So I have a file. Uh, I'm just opening a file with the name file underscore tab dot txt. This file is having multiple columns which are tab separated. So I'm just opening this. So here we can see we have a multiple columns, ID, name and salary and these columns having few rows in it. So first command we are going to understand is print specific column. So print specific column. So here I'm just writing AWK and single quotes. Inside the single quotes we need to write this curly braces and here print. And now we can write dollar and one. One means first column. So I'm just moving outside this single quotes and here the file name. So file name is file underscore tab. I'm just running it. Here you can see we are getting only first column. So few things that we need to understand it over here. AWK is the command name. We are writing command in single quotes and curly braces. Here we are writing print. Print is for printing something on the console and here is the column. So column we are writing like dollar and the column number. We are writing column number is one. So it's printing column number one. One thing need to be understand. It is taking by default columns are separated by the tab. So I'll show you example in which we are having multiple columns which are separated by comma underscore so we can have different separators by default awk command take tab as a separator i'll show you one more example like i want to print column two means i want to print all the names so i'm writing like awk and here inside the single quotes print dollar two and file name is file underscore tab dot txt so now we are getting all the names so in the same way if you want to write if you want to print more than one columns we can write like awk and inside the print dollar one and dollar three i want to display two columns which are dollar one and dollar three so means first column and the third column and the file name is this i'm just running it so here first it's showing id and then salary but here it is merging id and the salary because we did not set any output format so it is merging these two columns so it is concatenating these two columns it is not showing any space between the columns I want to display these two columns so I'm just writing like I want to display column 1 and column 3 with some separator so here we can use double quotes and we can give separator so here I have placed spaces as a separator between column 1 and column 3 now I'm running it and here you see we are getting two columns and they are separating in output by the space. So that's the first command in which we have seen how we can print data from one or more columns by using AWK command. That's all we have for this session one. Thanks for watching this video.